Amalia Stern, and I worked on writing the songs as well as editing the scene audio and collaborating a bit on writing the scenes. Hi, my name is Josh, and I was one of the, the two main writers, along with Eden Sweet, who is at summer camp and can't be with us today, but I know that she enjoyed being a part of this as much as we all did. Hi, I'm Max Rubin. I was the one in charge of the music audio, so mixing and mastering of the audio. I also, at points in time, was working with Aaliyah, just listening over, like, being a second set of ears. My name is Sarah Shapiro. I'm the vocal music teacher at Milken. And one of the classes I teach is Advanced Kol Achad that uh, Aaliyah, Max, and Eden were all students in. And I was the uh, music advisor slash editor for the musical. And I am Sarah Figaton. I'm the acting teacher and theater director at the upper school. And um, similarly to Ms. Shapiro, I teach advanced theater projects and Josh is my faithful student. And so I was here helping develop the story for the musical. So what ended up happening was, I think it was actually like a year ago now, I had been writing in my journals and I was like, this would be a cute love story. And it was nothing like this, but I brought it up to Aaliyah and then Ms. Shapiro had already asked us, well, guys, do you guys want to write a musical for your Advanced Kolokhod project? And we were like, uh, yes. And Aliyah and I very quickly realized this is going to not work with that story because it's way too complicated and gives too many questions. So we started moving over towards what we have now, Living with a Stranger, which is amazing. We ended up doing a separate musical as our school musical, but really the impetus for starting this project was the insanity of being at home, being quarantined, and and wanting to find a way to do this project, to do our advanced kolhad and advanced theater projects in a way that might end up being constructive for our whole school community. Aliyah, I'm curious, and Max too, since you guys were the kind of the main foragers of the music side of it, like t taking those intentions and then turning them into music. Like what was that process like? When I do write music, I tend to write the music thinking, how is the music itself going to convey the message? And then trying to fit the words are like supplementary to the music. So the music give, like is the thing that invokes the feeling within the audience. And then the words are to explain what's actually happening because I mean, to me, that's that tends to be the musicals that hit me most. So like, for instance, I remember when we were writing Diagnosis, Aaliyah and I went back and forth on whether or not it should be in 5-4 or 3-4 because I, the song was meant to have like this feeling of unevenness and you can get that with 5-4. And so I wanted to write it that way, but then we very quickly realized writing something like that is very hard because you have to keep that in mind throughout that you are writing with five beats. But I will say also when shaping the lyrics, something that I believe we ended up doing was kind of a combination of what we both just said, that while we wanted to, to work on characterization and the lyrics and conveying what happens in the scenes in song, that we were also thinking about what the song would actually sound like when we were writing the lyrics. And so if kind of what we did for diagnosis, those choppy short phrases that we knew that's what the feeling we wanted. We wanted that like rush kind of a uh, disoriented feeling and kind of vaguely imagining, uh, imagining the instrumentals behind it or with Jesse's song, uh, decisions, I still call it that, um, knowing the kind of harsh feeling we want behind it and kind of strong feeling or just whether we want a light piano behind certain sections and that that would shape the lyrics and things, but that stuff would end up coming afterwards. It would just kind of influence. Are there any like little hidden nugget details in the music that you want to like point out? Because I think sometimes those are the coolest little details that like as a, a viewer or a listener, we wouldn't know about. Yes, yeah, so I think when we were kind of adding those uh, different instruments in, since for the sake of being able to produce it that we stick mostly to piano, but that adding that violin in there, typically when I hear violin added into a song that it gives, it emphasizes the emotion or makes it much stronger, adds another layer to it. And so sometimes it can be like a little more pulling on the heartstrings in a section, a little more kind of overwhelming emotion in a section. And so being able to add those layers almost like another voice in there also as musicians we thrive on the things that sounds oh that's so pretty 
you know so it's like when when we have the chance to put in a really really pretty chord or harmonization or an instrument like adding another instrument that sounds really pretty when it's done in that way because i feel like there's different things throughout different characters at different moments where when we're creating these characters and writing these stories that we get to put these people out create them put them out into the world but then certain moments we may be putting our own voices into them, like wanting to push those characters through our own voices and putting our voices into her. Or if there's a like an emotional conflict in even just in the first scene, the kind of emotional internal conflict after just hearing this confession after and then having to internalize that and then process that on your own and see where you want to go from there putting the like our experiences into these characters whether on the advice end and wanting to help end or on the i need to figure out what is happening and and in process my own emotions Daniel, in many ways, is a character that, as we were progressing, it was sort of made more a little bit around me. When in the acting, it was like, if there was just something that I would never say, yes, it was like some things for the character, but then also realizing like, hmm, maybe maybe the character wouldn't say this. How, like being able to say like, I wouldn't say this and I'm insert for character right now. The ability to like sort of change what we have, change the wording of what we've written, in order to get something more, I guess, real out of me per se. Like we've never really been able to do that because it's usually me trying to reorient myself around something, but I, I feel like it was able to give me something that was really uh, a little bit more raw. A lot of it is like the way that we've done it is like to, to pull out the feeling of anxiety and anxiousness. Like nothing is the same. I don't know anything that's happening. And that was like kind of for me mimicking what was going on in the whole world at that moment. And this is really overwhelming. Oh, the character does this. So that was like, as Aaliyah said, a really good way of processing all of that and being able to really put something real into the character that I that I feel like it came out really well. I'm I'm just really proud of how the character was written by writers and shaped by our music. And so like to, to eventually get to a place where th what we wrote elicited something so raw in me. I'm just really proud of everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I think that these characters really allowed us to kind of give the perspective of looking at relationships between people and kind of seeing how that works. What parts of that have we experienced ourselves and how those different relationships relate to where we are in our own lives with our own friends and those around us. And if we were in those character situations, how would we want to react um, and to some degree, there were some moments where we're writing it where it's like, ah, yes, I know this feeling well. How do I want to portray this in this character? For me, the writing part of the musical that, that we did, it allowed me to like funnel all of the, the insecurities and fears that I had back in September and October and just like funnel them into these characters that were meant to be insecure and afraid and all that, like, like scene four when Daniel is having, not necessarily a breakdown, but he's just like getting upset that he hasn't been able to remember everything. I remember that was like the second or third scene that I wrote. And so that was like still when things were very uncertain, we didn't know when vaccines were coming. So I was just like, it took me like 30 minutes to complete a first draft of that scene. I was impressed that I did it and I'm impressed that it, that it stayed as unchanged as it did. I think that for me, that maybe one of the biggest things was emotional shifts. Seeing how these feelings gradually change throughout these characters and being able to put those experiences into words and to explain those emotions and to flesh those out, I think was a big thing for me. Whenever I'm writing characters, I like to see them grow and I like to, I like to see how they are and how they're feeling and then see how that changes. And as they're thinking through things, see how that changes. And I think adding that personal lens in throughout that process, um, whether in writing, um, waiting, and the different kind of thought process that changed throughout that, or writing, learning to love again, and, and seeing how we can grow throughout that, that being able to, to write those shifts, and being able to kind of help put these things into words and flesh out these characters throughout the different means was 
something I, I really enjoyed throughout the process. Like, is this what you intended? So it's like to be able to sort of make it that and sort of stitch all the different parts together into the fabric that was like the final outcome of our music was really, really gratifying. And it's, and I feel like it all came together together beautifully with beautiful lyrics and beautiful music and like the beautiful instrumentals and vocals all coming together to be this like really amazing thing. I'm, I mean, that was so, I mean, like, I remember waking up two days later, remembering that moment and smiling just because it was like really gratifying.